my channel, Craft the Cakes and Desserts. If this is your first time here, thank you for stopping by. Make sure you subscribe to my channel down below and also hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my uploads. If you have been here before, welcome back. So today we are doing something different. I've never done chocolate chip cookies from scratch. Yeah, I know the name is Crafted Cakes and Desserts, but you don't know how to do cookies. No, I don't know how to do cookies because every time I do cookies, they come out hard or too crispy. I know the recipe, it, well, the directions will say when it start getting brown on the outside. I mean, I can't tell. So today I'll be trying this um, Crisco shortening recipe that I found. And we'll see how that goes. I don't know. I know my favorite cooker, cookie, <laughs> my favorite cookie is peanut butter. Now, I've done those from scratch a couple times and probably out of the five times I've done it, probably three times I overcooked them. But that's our secret. <laughs> so, nothing wrong with giving it a try. I'm not saying that I'd just be an expert with cookies, but anyway, so this is what I'm following. So, just... Follow along with me and we'll see how it go. First thing it says is heat your oven to 375 degrees. I've already done that. And it says beat your shortening, your brown sugar, milk, and vanilla in a large bowl. So you'll have a three-fourths cup of Crisco. And I will measure that out. And your brown sugar, it says one and one fourth cup of brown sugar. So it's so hard to come out. Okay, one and one fourth cup of sugar. Your milk, it calls for two tablespoons of your milk. So add that in. And then it says your vanilla. They want one whole tablespoon of vanilla. I don't even use that much in cakes, but we'll see. Add that. <laughs> And then for the sugar, I it actually said light brown, but all I have is dark, so that's what I'm using. Okay, next it says beat in one egg. So I got my one egg here. Beat that in. So now it says stir in your flour, salt, and baking soda. 
So, I'm going to sift mine in there. The flour, they want two cups of flour, one teaspoon of salt, and three fourths teaspoon of baking soda. So I have all that in here. So I'm just gonna add it. So I'm going to do just half. I'm not sure how to do it, but do it like I do the cakes. Okay, then put my other half. Okay, next it says add in one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. I don't have semi-sweet, all I have is milk chocolate. So, let's try this out. One cup. And I'm going to use my spatula because the batter is kind of thick now, so I don't want to burn my mold out in that hand mixer. And I didn't feel like taking out the, the stand mixer, even though you see it here in the back. I didn't want to use it. So, And it also says you can use one cup of coarsely chopped pecans. I'm not going to use pecans. I'm just going to leave it as plain chocolate chip cookies. And we'll see. So now it says drop round, rounded measuring tablespoonfuls, three inches apart on the baking sheet. We're going to bake it for 8 to 10 minutes for chewy cookies, 11 to 13 minutes for crisp. So I'm going to do the 8 to 10 minutes and we'll see how that works. Okay, my timer just went off for my cookies, so I'm going to see what they look like. Uh, I don't know what they're supposed to be looking like. <laughs> Let me show y'all what these cookies look like. Hold up. These are what it looked like. I'm not sure what I did wrong. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> uh, I just let them cool for about two minutes and We'll see. I don't know. They're a little puffy. So they've been cooling on the rack. <laughs> and this is what it looks like. It's not done. I think I made them a little too big, maybe. I don't know. See, this is what I'm saying. I, I just don't. I just don't know. Well. Okay, I don't know. Attempt number two, still puffy. Don't know what's going on, but I made them smaller. So maybe they're done. <laughs> See, th these are a little more brown. <sighs> well, let these cool. And then put my last batch in. So these are a little smaller. 
they still don't look like chocolate chip cookies compared to these. These are lighter than those. I don't know. I think I left these in for about 10 minutes also. Check the inside. It looks done. These taste more like chocolate chip cookies. They okay, but they still don't look like chocolate chip cookies and all the cracking and stuff. I'm not sure it could be the um, shortening, but I doubt it. They made the recipe, but um, I'm not sure what's going on. I never <laughs> do right with cookies, but I got one more batch and they even smaller because it was just what was left over. So, And then I turned the oven down to 350 degrees, so we'll see about those. These are my last attempt, and these cookies, they've actually been cooling on the pan the whole time, and they are soft in the middle and kind of firm on the outside, like I like it, and they are done, so let me um, taste them. It looks much better. They taste pretty good too, so still don't look like chocolate chip cookies. I can't tell, but these look way okay. better. Cookie fail, cookie fail, because three attempts, three. This is the first one. Doesn't look good at all. This is the second one. Doesn't let look good good at all <clears throat> and then this is the third one it looks okay but i still can't tell that it's chocolate chip i can see little pieces here and here but i wanted them to poke out and i think this is the best one this is the third attempt but i should have had more faith in myself but i didn't um because i know i i just cannot do cookies like if somebody can give me some type of advice or something i just cannot do cookies i can do cakes i can do cheesecakes i can do all that <clears throat> decorate cakes all that but when it comes to cookies they just so hard to me i just cannot do them but if you liked my video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and comment down in the comment section. Also, if you hadn't already, what are you waiting on? Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I'll see y'all in the next video. See y'all.